Hello everyone and welcome back to Pixel Mentor. In today's video, I want to have a look at the model from Cristiano Alex, the problem that he's having with Substance Painter. Uh, as you can see, he's having problem with probably normal, I would say, uh, and the way they are being baked. I'm assuming uh, there are some problem with the original model that has like a locked normal, something like that, but we're gonna have a look together and see how we can solve this issue. So again, I'm Chris Espanuolo and this is Pixel Mentor. I've then opened the file that um, Cristiano sent me. Uh, we have like a low res model and the high res model. Uh, yeah, I mean like not much to say. I mean like I'm not going to spend too much time talking about topology or anything like that. It's not the purpose of this specific video. Uh, I'm not a big fan of this topology. I mean like this kind of crisscrossing path and stuff like that are absolutely bad in my opinion. But apparently uh, it made the job. So I don't care. Uh, this is the high res and this is the low res. Basically, the high res is just like a smooth version of the low res. Nothing more than that. What I noticed is that seems to have some issue with uh, normal. Um, and there are like hard edges. Those are edges. If are not smooth inside uh, Substance Painter, they will be picked up by Substance Painter. That's why probably in Substance you have that issue. I've open it in substance so I know that it's it's like that. Uh, I don't know Blender, I use my I'm a Maya user, but there's for sure a way to soft the edges. Problem with soft the edges is that will solve the problem but only relatively. It's not really softing the whole edges and you're gonna have better things but you're always gonna have like this kind of weird normal that are happening. This is happening because in some cases, some model depends on how you model them, how you did it. The normal are sort of locked, or at least this is how it's called in Maya. And you have an option to unlock the normal in Maya. And if you go inside the mesh display, you can unlock normals. And then when you have like a model with unlock normal and smooth normal, that's going to be the result. Can you see the difference between this one, this one, and this other one? Okay, this is the correct one. And this is what you should have before going inside Substance Painter and making any kind of texture, because that's that's where the the things, the bad things happen when you try to bake with wrong normals already on the model. So again, you need to unlock the normal, soft the edges, and then you can export it. And next step, another things I did because Ale Cristiano was asking me uh, specifically how it can. Since this is an entire object and it's not split it, it wanted to be able to select the object specifically later and to hide or show specific part of the model. For now, I just like did a couple of them. What I did, I simply assigned a material based on the face selection. So I assigned the material, I give them a name. And as you can see, there are like uh, metal top, metal accessories, metal details, and blah, blah, blah. And I give them like simply, simple, simple basic colors. In this way, even if we use like single UDIM asset like this one, we're going to be able to select and see visible the different kind of uh, shader and the different kind of, let's say, let's call them object inside Substance Painter. So we can easily assign material instead of selecting uh, faces or doing mask or whatever, we can simply do it. So now let's jump on Substance Painter and see what's the difference. Let's start with a new project inside Substance Painter. And I will leave like all the option like by default like they are. Um, I will not use the multiple tile workflow because we are not doing UV tile. We're just doing like one UV. And I'm not importing any camera. I'm not doing any props. So I'll leave everything by default. 248 is more than enough for now. So I will select my object the low resolution one, and I will load it. As soon as I load the, the model from the version with the material, you can see that I have like everything is fixed in terms of um, normal maps. We don't have any problem. And also we have our material so we can show and hide 
whatever object we need based on the request from Cristiano. So another thing that we need to do is just like bake. Uh, we can bake like the normal, for instance, from the IRES and everything else. So we can load the IRES model. And in the ID specifically, we can go and bake the polygroups. So we're gonna have the color that are coming from our material. And then we can bake all the material. So now that the bake process is finished, you can see that we have all our like baked maps, all the colors. So in this case, they also baked like the details from the high resolution mesh that were not available in the low resolution mesh as different colors, not only based on the material that we assigned before, occlusion, so on and so forth. So to test it, let's do, let's assign just the material. And as you can see, as soon as I move, on top of a material, since I have a specific selection um, based on the material, I can assign to a specific part of the object only that material. Another good thing I can do is that, let's say I can assign a bronze here, but I want this part to be um, goldish. So what I can do, I can go inside this one, I can assign like another goldish layer on top of this, then I can create like a mask. So I can create like a black mask, for instance, and then I can tell, okay, give me like a color selection, and then I can pick the color from the color selection, and then I can say, okay, I want this color, and I want this color. And now those two are like on top of everything. So not only have the selection based on the material, based on the material that I've done in Maya, but I also have the possibility to assign the material based on another kind of um, option that is the color. So I can take, I can do whatever I want and I can assign simply like shader with drag and drop and I have my bomb that is working pretty fine. I hope Cristiano that this was useful. I know that you don't speak very well English but I hope this is pretty clear. So yeah, enjoy and see you next time on Pixel Mentor. Bye.